Okay, now we're gonna do one of the trickiest things in mechanical engineering. We are going to make a refrigerator. Refrigerator. Now a refrigerator and an air conditioner are the same thing. No difference, same trick. Now, when I was researching energy, I saw that two thirds of the power used by, used by people or companies are electric motors. Which is mechanical engineering. Anyhow, I thought where in the house are these electric motors in? The refrigerator, the air conditioner, and the fans that pump the heat around from our natural gas heaters um, were the electric motors in my house. And then in industry, electric motors are everywhere. And so then two thirds of all the power used in the world goes into electric motors. And we're going to, so we're going to use electric motors here in our house. Now the thing we got to do is we got to use that ideal gas law. PV NRT pressure volume constant and temperature and we we did what we did is we threw that paint can in the fire and the volume was the fixed paint can and then the temperature went up and then we exploded the paint can. Now in this, in this next scenario, what we're going to do is we are going to take a tube and we're going to have a piston here. Okay, so in here we have a certain pressure, volume, and temperature in here. Okay, this is the starting, starting volume, starting pressure, and starting temperature. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take power work and we're going to we're going to compress this. So now what we have after we put some power into it, some work, we have compressed this gas, which let's say it's air or not air, it's let's say it's I think they stopped using freon, but whatever they use in in refrigerators that doesn't freeze. It's like an antifreeze. Anyhow, we, we've compressed this. We, we crunched it down and we're pretty sure, we're positive that the pressure went up. It had to because it's, it's now scrunched further. It's under pressure. Well, volume we see went down because now we're in a smaller space. Okay. We know N and T never, and N and R never change. So, what do you think happened to temperature? All right. So, if we've got pressure going up, we've got volume going down, it might be a wash. They may be that there's that no change in temperature has occurred. But if, but if you think about it, all the molecule atoms that are banging around into each other in this in this space are now packed together. So now the, they're hitting each other more, and it turns out that. Pressure went up more than volume went down, and so now our temperature went up. Okay, so the temperature of this is higher than the temperature of this. Now, if we just bring the bring this piston back to the exact same spot it was at, everything will return to normal. The original pressure, volume, and temperature will return. So if you push something in, you make the temperature goes up. You pull it back and the temperature comes down. So the trick, the trick to make something colder. Now we're pretty good at making things warmer because we burn everything, but the way to make something colder is when you get this thing pressed in, you, in an air, in an air conditioner, you actually run up a fan over it and let's say that it started off at 70 degrees, regular air temperature, 
and when we crunched this in, the temperature went up to 90 degrees. Just, just because we, we pushed all the atoms together and now they're banging into each other. So you run this fan on this 90 degree, you've, you've got 70 degree air here, and you blow it across this 90 degree heat, or 90 degree heat, this heated up uh, compressed area, so that eventually you've cooled this, this thing down to 70 degrees. Because you, you ran 70 degree air over it, and you brought it down from 90 degrees. So now when you release this piston, this new temperature, the new, well, I should draw it one more time, the new temperature inside will be something more like 60 degrees. Because we had this thing under pressure at an elevated temperature, and then we cooled it off down from 90 to 70, and then we pulled it out that so the atoms, the atoms had slowed down. They weren't banging into each other as much. They were kind of like this one. And then we pulled it down. They got even more far, they got even farther apart. And this turned into 60 degree um, temperature. And now we've got, we've magically made something colder. We had the, everything was at 70 degrees, the regular earth, you know, room temperature. And we took, we took and used room temperature to cool that 90 degrees down, brought it to 70, and then we backed it off, it got colder. That is the magic of a refrigerator and an air conditioner. You simply compress it, cool off the temperature, and then back it off, and it gets colder. This is so cool that we, we move heat around. We, we know how to heat something up. We know how to make something colder. You actually can make something colder with a piston and a and a and, and running cooling air over this 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 hot nine degree stuff that we had now in a refrigerator you don't have a fan you actually have all of these um, tubing on the back of the refrigerator and then it heat rises along the back of the refrigerator and you, you have this slow elimination of, of, of heat from the, from the back of the refrigerator. And they don't put, they don't put fins on the top of the refrigerator because people would pile things on top. So they have to do it in the back and the heat rises and it, it carries the, the heat away. And then there's an expansion valve in the refrigerator. So A refrigerator is a pump here. Then you cool it off. Then you expand it through this expansion valve. And then you have this cold stuff in here. No. <laughs> you have this cold stuff in here, which is the inside of the fridge. And you have this hot stuff, which is the back of the fridge. And that, that is the, how a refrigerator works. And th these, this is the back, these are the back tubing of a refrigerator. And there's no, there's no fan, it's just conduction, just like we talked about before. There's no, there's no convection. Now in, a, in an air conditioner, there is convection. It, there is, they do run a fan. But the back, the tubing, it cools this, this one down. The expansion valve releases the pressure and the, now you have cold air on the inside. This is inside the fridge. And now you can cool down your food, and then this pump runs when it needs to. That's an air conditioner. It all is based on the ideal gas law. So it's hard to remember how an air conditioner works. Don't worry if you keep forgetting it. I always forget it too. It's pretty tricky, but this is it. This is the trick of mechanical engineering, how to make something cold. That's it.